Well, why you do vlogs that you never put any of them out? Yes, people, what's happening? Welcome to another vlog. The vlogs are back. And when my dad sees this on YouTube, his head's going to explode. The vlogs, the vlogs aren't back. This will be filmed and you'll never see it. No one <laughs> will ever see this. But we're all three years behind on the vlogs. We've got thousands of vlogs which have never been put broadcast. But this one is going to go out. And when everyone sees it on YouTube, they'll be like, yeah. where the fuck have those two well, been? Where I, have you been? Fill, I fill everyone don't in. believe it. We've been working. We're just doing the same thing. We're doing great. It's just... For some reason, which I don't know, <laughs> Will will not put these vlogs out to the general public. I'm not sure if the FBI are looking for them, what the fuck's going on, but he just won't put them out. So, we're off tonight to Runcorn. We're just on the road now, uh, as you can see here. And, yeah, excited, Dad? Yeah, well, I'm very excited. Probably the, uh, my great grandparent and uh, great grandchildren <laughs> are watching this. Yeah. Because it will not go out this century. They might get dug up in a vault somewhere. Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Every With year. The, the Dead Sea going Scrolls. Out next week, two weeks. It's going out in two weeks. You'll never see the light of day. So basically, what's been happening is I've been filming these vlogs constantly at every show but I haven't got an editor and at the moment I'm finding it hard to find the time to edit the videos so Just basically me dad says they never well they haven't gone out I don't think we've posted a video on YouTube since 2020 two years, yeah, two but years. but you'll be pleased to know we're still smashing it more than ever we're off to the Brindley yeah, Theatre in Rome. I've got this cross and chain on this is an omen because by the time this goes out, I'll be in a coffin with the cro this a cross on my chest. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. So we're off to the Brindley Theatre in Runcorn tonight. I think we've done 310 tickets. Last time we did 337. So we're looking to bre break that record tonight. Uh, which, to be honest with you, I was in the sauna before, right? And like, 310 tickets I find quite underwhelming. It, but it's a fucking massive number. And I was thinking before while I was in the sauna, like, isn't it mad the way your expectations change? And that's such a great marker for us to be able to be like, oh, well, we'll go. And by the way, you know, it made me think how much I appreciate every single person who's buying your tickets. So big thanks to you. We're going to go and have a smashing night, aren't we? Yeah. And by the time you watch this, remember how Will looks, because this will be going out on Will's 70th. Yeah. It was my dad's birthday this week, by the way. Yes, 36, if you don't mind. Dead. Not 40. Go ahead. So yeah, um, my dad's two years older than me. I am just, <laughs> just heading down to the show. Uh, excited for it. No support on tonight. Decided that my dad's gonna do two 40 minute spots, which he's wanted to do for a long, long time. And I'm gonna do a bit of MC in five, 10 minutes here and there. And a big tune finale at the end. Sweet Caroline. Um, so yeah, right, gonna crack on. Get on with uh, me traveling. And uh, catch you in a bit. Anything to say to the people? Hasta pronto. Let me see you soon. Welcome to Runcorn. Witness where my dad was born. I wasn't born a witness. Hey, are you it? Witness. Witness.com witness witness forward slash Frankie Allen. Um, Lol Ogburn, good mate of mine from the village club in Witness, great lad. Very close friend of mine, he's some Witness as we go past Witness. Yeah. Anyone knows Lol? To anyone who doesn't know, just like John Bishop was born in and grew up in Middlewich, my dad was born in Witness. Uh, well, I think I'll, just like John Bishop did, I'll use a phony accent and uh, pretend I was born somewhere else. Hello, my name's Frankie. I was born at Wigan, me. Where are you really born from? I'm uh, born and broke in hospital. Kensington. Oh, Old Swan or Kensington? Oh, I lived in Old Swan but I moved to Kensington for tax reasons. People have commented on YouTube videos before though saying, oh, this man's a fraud, he's from Runcorn and that. Yeah, but they're just dickheads, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I mean, yeah. to be honest with you, they're from Runcorn, I'd be proud to be from Runcorn. Runcorn, you know, Newtown, people are all scouts, so they all moved out from... Uh, Places like Kensington and Ed Shill. Did they actually, see. yeah? Yeah, they're all scouts. They're all well, run called Newtown in the 60s, but advertising for people to move out. Same what's as a new, What's Newtown? 
Well, what it is, Liverpool was like so big, there was nowhere for people to live, it was overflowing. So they built new towns like Winsford, Skelmersdale, Kirby, Runcorp, but the overflow for people to live. Oh, yeah. That's all it is. But all the people, most of the people in Runcorp are from Waverty and Edgehill and the South End, or Toxteth as they call it now. A lot of people have moved there. Yeah. There you go. Scousers. Well, right, I better turn off here. And uh, we're six minutes away from the venue, so... I'm dying, out. dying for a pee. I'm gonna have one in a minute as soon as I get in this car park. If anyone doesn't know, this is a... Uh, I, I didn't even know this bridge was open. This is the old bridge. There's the new bridge down there or whatever. If anyone who wants a history lesson, talk yeah, to me about this bridge. Speak to me about the history lesson. The Rookhorn Bridge, this is the old one. I had no idea this was still open. It's like... It's like something... You'd think you were in New seven, York, man. New York, yeah, it's Go like... On. It's like the Berenzano Bridge in New York, anyone been How old's this bridge been? It's gotta be 80 years old or something like that, built in the 40s. But the new bridge is dead modern and whatever. And there's the railway bridge. When you've been to London and you're coming back to Liverpool, you're on that bridge. Nice. Brindley. Yes, yes, the Brindley. We're on the Brindley Theatre. Shout out to the Brindley. And there's people, Lock Street. Walking down with milk. Yes, yes. What's this fella doing? We'll Shout out, Rip Runcorn. Is that the middle? That's the right in the middle of Runcorn, isn't it? We're right in the middle of Runcorn now. Billy Theatre is uh, centre of Runcorn. Anybody wants to know who Brindley was? Go on. Who is he? He designed the uh, Bridgewater Canal, which runs through Runcorn. See. This is us jocking into the venue. Now, interestingly enough, we have to go to the other exit, which is the back one, don't we? I can't remember what. Yeah, so how do we get round there is the question. Well, let's just park up and dine for a wee. No, because you've got to go to the stage door. You can't well, park you can here. Fuck off, I want to have a wee here. Just park for it. I've got a burst, I'll wet my pants. So you'll have to let me have a piss somewhere. Arrived. Let's go. Good to see our mate again. How you doing, mate? You're all right. It's lovely to see you at the stage door. Hi, love. Hey. We have arrived at the Brindley Theatre in Runcorn. Uh, got a tiny little bit of a ride that I picked up because I didn't manage to get anything. A couple of Diet Cokes and that's us all set up. My dad's having a nice little chat with Malch, who's the security officer here tonight. So I'm just going to go and... You're speaking about... Old business well, entertainment. Just <laughs> notes about Go on. I used to be a security guard, he was a security guard. And funny enough, a lad rang me a couple of weeks ago, a fella called Richie Toombs from Skelmersdale. And it was his dad's birthday. Now his dad, Robbie Toombs, I worked with him. And we were guards in uh, the BIC in Prescott. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad, he swore that he worked yeah. there. All his <laughs> life my dad worked there. Go on. He did, honestly. Yeah. On BIC, BIC cables, yeah. yeah. And, uh, he worked all his And they had a club here, a lovely club. I've been on the club a few times. But Robbie was a good lad. And it, as you say, it was 12 hour shifts then. And I would remember, uh, remember Robbie used to tell me some funny stories. And I got to know his lad. Richie and he rang me on his dad's birthday, he lives in Scam, Richie, he's a good lad. Richie was telling him all about his dad, it's sad then, it? but uh, he passed away, he was a lovely lad. He had BIC, there was another place in Kirby called Noonday Graphics. And what you had to do in that place, oh yeah, you'd never heard of it. It was a warehouse and it was pitch black when you went in. There was a car, I couldn't even drive then. There was a car there, and all you did all night, just lock yourself in this car. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well, we're security guards. He'll tell you, you just like he is now. You could, could you sit there till tomorrow morning at, at eight in the morning? That's yeah. That's what you have to do, why? <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. So you have to sit there. But this little warehouse, it was that small that they put a car in there, an old car at night. You used to reverse a car up from the car park. And any guard who was working there used to go in, even if you couldn't drive, you'd sit in the car. And they never let you put the heater on or not or start the engine with a big <laughs> blanket on you. And there was no lights. It's all changed now, hasn't it? Now you've got that running water for it, <laughs> Because I remember, our Dave said to me, come up, he said, we've got a fella on um, 
uh, he's only a young fella and he said, he's in noonday graphics. I said, where's that? He said, on the curb, the industrial sets. We got up there, we come through the doors, pitch black everywhere. I said, where is he? He says, in the car over there. I said, it's a joke. <laughs> he come out of this car, you know, and he had these gloves on, the only young fella he was. Fucking freezing, he said. <laughs> 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 yeah. Fucking freezing. So I said, so come on, I'll go and get you a cup of tea. And he was over the moon with a little cup of tea. It was like that, you know. And I said, so I can't be going anywhere else. He said, I'll put you on another side next week, you know. Uh, but everyone used to dread doing this new day graphic. I never done it because all you were doing was sitting in this car. Funny, isn't it? Stories you could tell. Oh, right, yeah. let's go and do our sound check. Big oh, thanks, Mal. Right. Lovely right. to see you as always. Well, see, you need a wee first. We don't mind, but yeah, it's this way. On the left. This is with all the big willies gone. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit mad. Follow me, so I'm like a pervert. ready. Can you show everyone the dressing room, please, first? I oh no, we'll do it after. Moved it. Come on, let's go. After you. Have some more sound check now. Yes. Right, so, uh, first of all, stools, do you want a stool on the stage? No. Okay, fine, do you want the table on the stage? No, I don't know what the table's there for, I'm not a magician. Just for a bit of water. Leave it there then, yeah. I might say, uh, you never know, I might. But I'll take the stools off, so all we got to do is, Paul was asking, is that too dark, first of all? Uh, what do you think? Or, Paul, can you hear me? Uh, just bring the audience up a little bit, Paul. So I'll walk out when it kicks in. I'll have a little bit of a chat with the audience for all five minutes, ten minutes at max. I'll say, ladies and gentlemen, you're looking forward to seeing Frankie Allen tonight. Give it up live, the one and only, the UK's most feared comedian, Mr. Frankie Allen! So I need, when I say Frankie Allen, that second track to kick in. You need some volume, there's no volume on the mic. Okay. No, yeah, we'll sort that out in a minute. This okay. is just to go for your tracks. <laughs> So, I'm just wondering, that's perfect for me. You like lots in the monitors, don't you? So, if you want to have a go speaking. One, two, one, two. That's fine. You happy with that? As long as no effects on what I'm speaking, and when I start the song, you don't mind for the uh, echo or reverb on, please. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks, Kev. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kev. Perfect. Happy? You happy? Yeah. Brilliant. Let's go. Go and chill. Um. I'll go and grab some coffees for you if you want that. No food. Come on, oh, what, you, what would you like? Sandwiches, anything at all, really. Just okay. I'll go and tap next off and see if she can do your sandwich Oh, that'd be incredible. Be just tell them to recharge your spic. don't usually do food at lunches, but it's you, so you can have what you want. Oh, there you go. What a lovely person. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you don't mind being on video, Vic. Well, I've got two sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can play you out if you want. Yeah. Oh, great, yeah, cheese. Yo, yo, what's happening, people? Sound check is done. Feeling good. I have chosen this stool, backless stool. We usually go for with a uh, table on the stage, little mic. What's up? You just told me to disappear. You're walking out. You're behind me. Then I don't need to go. What? I don't need to go out. Oh, okay. What do you need me for? The video, what are you doing now? I'm just doing a bit of video on myself. Oh, okay. Do you want me to hold it then? No, what do you need me for? That was a bit mad. Anyway, um, all set up. This gaff is going to be chock a block later. I'm excited. We can't wait. It'll, it'll focus on me. So, yeah, big, big thank you to everyone who's bought your ticket and come along tonight. It's going to be a belter. Tour shows are on sale now all over the UK, everywhere from Essex to Port Talbot to 
stoke to i don't know all over the gaff and the vlogs are going to be back in action um as i said frank doing two spots tonight um i robbed that off a bit because i seen i heard that he was doing two spots and i thought you know what frank could do two spots and i don't mind doing a bit of hosting I quite enjoy it uh, so yeah i'll show you i'm going to just jump into the crowd here Boom! And show you, oof, and show you what it's like. So, this is the setup. Frank's gonna be on here, and uh, Sanders get the back. Kevin Paul doing bits. Balcony up there. Let's go. So doors to the auditorium are gonna open in five minutes time. I'm gonna go get sorted and ready to enjoy. In a bit, people. Dressing room too. Well, what is this it? This is fantastic. Sit down, have a bit, Will. Oh, it looks heavy. Do you want some? Now, what is it? It's like jacket potato with cheese and beans and loads of boss salad stuff. Coleslaw and everything in tea. It's just like being in a boss hotel in Spain. Nice. Taste test? Lovely. Out of 10. 10. So, anyone who wants to come to the Brinley Theatre and come for a scram. To the food's lovely, yeah. To the cafe. You'll be yeah. starting to come to the cafe in the and day. get absolutely loads. Yeah. Looks heavy. Throw it in the auditorium in 10 minutes. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to go get my coffee. Are you coming back in here, or should I come into the other dressing room? Yeah. Uh, I'll come in here if you want. Right. I think you think it's more room in the other one, but I'm happy to come in. I'll just eat this here. It's fine, yeah. Enjoy. Dinner with Frank. And what have we got? Fucking boss cheese and beans, jack of potato, roasting fucking hot. We've got a boss salad, loads of coleslaw, loads of egg. We've got tomatoes, leek, and all kinds of mad vegetables, salad, cucumber. Fucking fantastic. And a piping hot cup of tea, just like I like it. Give us a taste milky, test. Milky, milky. Give us a taste the test. Taste test is like 10 out of 10. Give us, go on, give us a taste test now. So this is the cheese and beans jacket. Brilliant, amazing. Oh yeah, honestly, I'm a starving when I come here. They've done this for us. Absolutely fantastic. I'm over the moon with this. I haven't even chucked the salad yet, but we're gonna get it onto the salad in a minute. There's loads. I'm gonna take some of this home with me. I mean, I'm not being funny. If I walk through where I live in Kensington, in Liverpool, if I walk through the streets with this, I'd be moped in seconds. What's the score? 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Nice one. Excited? Well, not really excited. Just Bit of a lull now, we're waiting for the monster in, we're away, but... Yeah, uh, it's going to be a belter, I think. Mm -hmm. So, tell us, right, here's a quiz, some quiz questions. Okay. So tonight, my dad's doing two 35-40s, yeah? What is the longest you've ever done on stage? A couple of hours. Tell me about it. Well, it just depends on the crowd, really. If you get a good crowd with you... Have you ever been forced to do, like, a long period of time? Oh, yeah. I've been forced to do, you know, three spots. In the old clubs, you know, kind of like in the 80s and 90s, British legions, they'd book you on a Saturday night, Labour clubs, Conservative clubs, Liberal, all that kind of stuff. Even private clubs, you know, like, the, were attached to factories and things. They had nothing else on that night. Mm. So if you just walked on nine o'clock and done like half an hour, then they got the rest of the night with nothing. Okay. So they always Not even a DJ or anything? Nothing. No. So they always wanted two spots anyway. Now what I started doing and going back to like nineteen eighty four, early eighty five, there was a lot of work for singers at the time, but not much work for comedians. So I started working as a comedian singer, comedy vocal it was called at the time. So I used to go on at nine o'clock, do like 40 minutes comedy. And those had an organ and drums in these old clubs. So what I'd do then, go back on at half past 10, you'd do a dance spot. So I had all my music transposed, it was all written out. 
wrote all the music out, gave the music to the organist on the keyboard, the drummer and sometimes the guitarist, and they accompanied me. I sang songs, I used to do a lot of like soul numbers, drifters numbers, anything to get them up on the floor dancing. But Will, I, you won't believe this, I've been singing on my own on the stage, accompanied by the organ on drums in some of these big labour clubs, about had everyone in the place dancing. Because in the old clubs, they used to love to dance in the second half. And that's why you get a booker as a comedian, but it was going to cost them twice the, the fee because you always have to be booked with a group or a singer. So once I started doing a comedy vocal thing, I was away, I was getting loads of work. Mm. Then I went off from there. No. Yeah. Nice. So, what's the longest you've ever done? I'd say two hours. As two different spots? Or three spots? One spot. Two hours in one spot? Yeah. I always get inquiries of people and they'll be like, oh shit. I'll always get inquiries of people and they'll be like, hi, how much for a two hour spot in them? Huh? How much for a three hour spot? And then you'll oh, be yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah, but you can the... Sorry guys, I'm, I'm gonna do you two sets of barbells because the queue is massive. Okay. So if I had a ring, I won't give you a call until that bar's clear because there's no point you're sitting. Yeah, there's no point just going out no and starting the show. I can give you new beginners now. But yeah. you'll be sat in the wing for another five, ten minutes when the queue's massive. When are we thinking of starting the show, do you reckon? I want to start at 7.30. But do you think we'll be able but to But I've do done it? my bells early. Okay. But the queue was massive and there's still people coming in waves. There's people coming in, yeah. There are, there'll be a late crowd. <laughs> I mean, if we don't have to, we're not in any rush. Okay. So, I mean, we can make, even if it's a case of... You know, just have a show. Sure we'll just have a show. No, but the only problem is the interval will just yeah, be the same. It is. Regards to turnover. Do you know what I mean? So, so I, I am aiming for a 7.30, still. Love it. Okay. Are you confident with that? I'm confident. Go Our bar spends, but my dad's bar spends, should I say, are the best in the UK. Okay. So, so um, any venues or promoters? Is, it, oh, oh, yeah. is that true? Well, yeah, for a comedy show, yeah, a thousand percent. I mean, per person. Oh, brilliant. But you got to think about the demographic, haven't you? Yeah. Go on, so let's get back to this, um, do two hour spots. Yeah, two hour spots, the longest you've ever done. Yeah, two hours. In one spot where? I think it was in the, um, I'll tell you where it was. It was in the, um, one second. I think it was in the, East and West Toxteth Club. It used to be called Peel Hall. Go on. And I was on there and they were a great crowd. Just stayed on, done the hour and then having a laugh. And I'd say about an hour and three quarters, so it's not quite two hours, but just under two hours, yeah. Mad that. Anyway, ready to get on with the show. Apparently we're starting in four minutes time. But I don't think we'd be ready to go in ten minutes really if there's no key cards. We can't go on when there's no one in the audience, but I'll go and have a little look now. Anyway, big thanks for anyone who came to Runcorn. Before you've done the Brindley Theatre, uh, the last time you did Runcorn was Tony Burrell's gaff on it in the comedy office. Yeah, that was up at the industrial stage. Before it? that, last time you did a show in Runcorn, I know when it was. See if you can guess. Uh, yeah, don't know. It was a birthday party for some old mate of yours. Oh. Uh, it was a social club. Oh. What's that old social club where Morel used to have his shows? Oh, Halton Legion. Halton Legion. <laughs> Who's the fella? Little grey haired fella. Used yeah. to be an agent or something. I can't remember. You were on with the band. You kept saying he's a really good friend. He was dead old, he was. I don't know, but I can't remember some absolutely. We've done thousands of gigs all over the country, you can't remember. I used to do Halton Legion all the time. Yeah. Chris, who was the DJ there at Halton Legion, uh, was a friend of Gary Barlow. Gary Barlow. Go on. Yeah, Gary Barlow. He kind of discovered Gary Barlow, Chris. What? Oh. Gary Barlow from Take That. Yeah. yeah this is singer. baffling me, this. Go on. Famous singer. He used to sing when he started off in Halton British Legion. And Chris, I hope he's still alive, Chris. He was getting on a bit last time I saw him about three or four years ago. Lovely lad. He kind of trained him up and things, and uh, yeah, Gary Barlow. 
That's mad. Mm. Have you heard about his brother? Who's his brother? Barry Garlow. I know Barry Garlow. <laughs> yeah, what's he like? He's great, but he can't sing. Why? Because Gary can sing, but Barry can't. Yeah, Mr. Garlow. <laughs> anyway, uh, ready to get on with the show. Let's have it. Run corn. I'm gonna go out and just do all your material. Go on. You do it anyway. <laughs> nah. I know some people really do. I know. I know who's doing, who's doing my material. <laughs> right, in the bit, people. Jack Ryan. <laughs> who's doing it? Well, I'm only messing, I'm only messing. Right, time to get on with the show. Peace. Right, Later. So, we're still waiting backstage. We're supposed to start at 7.30. Reason we're not seven, starting at 7.30 is because... Everyone's still at the bar. Now, we've got to try and... Well, Will's going to try. Pull a little bit of a stunt on them tonight, a bit of a trick to make them come in. He's gonna go on stage soon, kind of making out, pretending that I'm coming on stage very, very soon. So anyone who's lingering at the bar will come in. And basically show starts, so what they'll do is they'll say, doors are closing at 22. It's four minutes till 22. I mean, you can't blame people for wanting to have a drink, you know what I mean, it is pretty early. Yeah, you know, I agree. Some people think, you know, what time is it? 20 to fucking 8? Yeah. I mean, they're not being funny. A lot of people have been working, they might have finished at 5. Got up to tea, got to dive in the bath. A few lengths, get dressed, get a taxi and all that, get out. So, it's, it's difficult for some people. 9 o'clock's the best time, really, to start some comedy, you know. Yeah, we can't do that in the theatre, yeah. Well, we can't do it in the theatre, but ideally, if I had to pick, Always go with nine o'clock. Now here's a little bit of information for people. Go on. From Frankie Allen, lifetime of experience. If you go on stage at nine o'clock with the crowd, they're very, very good, very receptive. Half nine, still good. If you go on at 10 o'clock, they're okay, they're still very good, but they tend to start being a little bit noisy. If you go on at 11 o'clock, then they're very, very noisy and it's hard to get them quiet. But, if you go on like I have sometimes in army shows and things, where you're going on at one in the morning, and they go very quiet, and my theory is this, you get very agitated as it gets later, but once it's gone 12 o'clock, you get kind of sleepy and you're quieting down again. Any comics out there, don't be scared if someone ever says to you, look, will you go on at midnight or one o'clock? As long as it's after 11, you'll be okay. Sweet. Right, let's have it. As soon as he walks in backstage, we're good to go. My dad's on stage now. All right, man. Oh, you enjoying what you're eating there? I've been a fruit, I've been out of bar for a bit. Oh, go on. Looks nice, that way you're oh, right, it's a biscuit. Bit of a biscuit there, <laughs> love it. You can hear people are buzzing off it there. <laughs> you shouldn't go on your fat CUNT. Uh, I'm just going to go and get some pics. Right, 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 What do you think? Great, great crowd. How did it go down? Brilliant, what did you find? How did you find it? Very good. 
Yeah. How did you feel about going on in that way? Hey, it went well, didn't it? It's a good time to go on, isn't it? It was all right. Well, I worked hard, you know, I worked very hard. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting because it, it is cold at that time, but at the same time, it's it's actually a really good spot, isn't it? Cold, but once you've got them, you've got them then, and you don't get any more chalk and all kicking off the door, you know. Brilliant. I mean, I actually think the second half of that set is like a really, really good time, which you'd, which you'd, they'd usually be in, in interval well, for. Well, you broke the back of them in the first half. Yeah. Even if you die in the first half, in the second half, they're going to be ten times better. Oh, no, the second half is going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that was really good, so you did 38 then, so, oh, so uh, yeah. shitloads, and then I did a little bit myself, didn't I, 10 minutes, so, so. 40 minutes, yeah. yeah, so loads of time, so, big thanks, enjoying mm -hmm. it, easy, wasn't it, but when I say easy, they were good, they were good, good yeah, I mean, they, they're the type of, they, they, they were sitting there the first thing can make me laugh, they were that type of you audience, a little bit, yeah. a little bit. Um, but we, we smashed it, you smashed it to bits, Belt of vibe. It is a good vibe, yeah. But if you notice, they're all Frankie Allen fans, you see. Yeah. You know, as I said, I was talking, I was thinking to myself this morning, like, I think it was at 308 this morning, and I was going to myself, oh, 308, it's not that big of a deal, but like, that is a big deal, isn't it? Yeah, I think we saw more than that though, tonight. Yeah. I think we've done a three and a half. No, but at the same time, it is quite, it is a big deal. It's like, a big deal, you know, yeah. a lot of people. You had the Dream Boys on last night. Did 150 tickets. 150 tickets, and they're big time. They come over from the States, you know what I mean? Yeah. Dream Boys are American, and you know, male, uh, male strippers really. And there used to be um, two bands going around in the 90s called Hunks from America. They were very good. And the Dream Boys. I think these are called the Dream Boys. It could be the same outfit. So, uh, very good. It's, you know, we're doing, we're still in the teeth of the recession early. People haven't got much money. We're doing very well. Hopefully once the vlogs come back. If they ever come back. <laughs> Ready to roll for the second half? I don't know, did you bring it through? Yeah. Silence in the wings. A few legends on here, the Dream Boys. Stan Borman. Stan Borman doing bits. Stan's doing great, you know. And uh, he sound. Francis Rossi chews a chat. I don't know who that is. Me singer of status quo. Go on. Yeah. Fucking legend. It's like someone's thrown a cap on the stage. Oh, nice. See what it's like. Happy to go and grab it? I can grab it, it's fine. Yeah. Run, Con, let's hear it for the UK's most famous comedian, Frankie Allen. Well, listen, I've got one more question to ask you. Should we leave it there or do you want to hear more? <laughs> if you want more, you're going to be fucking louder than that. Do you want to hear more? <laughs> Give it up for Frankie Allen! You walk and talk, let's go. How did you find it? Brilliant, so the usual one of all stuff here, the last thing was getting. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. You know it's only half nine, it's great that isn't it? 25 past nine. Yeah. We're winning. 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 Why? Oh, do you need a pen for the fucking... Can you get a pen for the autographs? Yeah. I've got one in the back. <laughs> you keep walking this way. Thanks lads, keep walking, keep walking. Keep following Vicky and then you're good. How you pal? Keep following, keep following Vicky and you're good. If you want to come and get a photo, just over here. Oh, that's a 
across, just behind here, just where that bell is. Brilliant. And if you want to get a photograph, feel free. Let me take one for you. Thank you. Enjoyable show tonight? Mega. Brilliant. Nice match. Consider from Digmore. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, lad. See you later. Nice Talk, man. Nice one. Quick review. What was it like? Brilliant. Enjoyable? I got this tonight. Not like Elvis as well, Big thank you, Mal. Legend. Oh, I'll see you again, mate. Lovely to see you, Mal. See you later. Right, be about five minutes. Vic, do you want to get on cam? You're too shy. <laughs> Big thanks, Kev. Debrief before we head off. Tell us about the night in general. Fantastic night. And you reminded me at half time of a few gags I haven't done for years. Did you hear the laugh that uh, you know somebody stabbed me before they get a socks off that gag? Yeah, I mean. I've done a lot of old gags as well, got huge laughs. I mean, I always say it, it's 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 all about your character. It's not really about the yeah, but jokes the same time themselves. Yeah, nice to have them, you know, in the repertoire, you know. Yeah. Yeah, all good. I was made up with brilliant nights and enjoyable. Yeah. I just want to. From my perspective, it was lovely to see so many like proper fans here. Uh, my dad's been fuming at me. Oh, thank you so much, Kev. My dad's been fuming at me for not having the vlogs up and out. Yeah. This one will be out, yeah. and uh, I think I owe it to everyone to bring them back out. Do you agree? Um, because they, they're so sound, the people here, and obviously they like watching them. So audience, and you can't take it away from them. Run corn crowd. I mean, a fella come from Middlesbrough tonight, a fella from Blackpool. Oh no, look at this. Yeah. Any chance of a shout out at tonight's performance? My friends Chris and Angela have driven from Aberdeen to see you tonight. Oh God. Thanks, Frankie. Aberdeen? Yeah. Well, why didn't they make a shout out? It's mad that, innit? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Right. Appreciate that, Vic. So, overall, good show? Brilliant show. That's People happy. driving from Aberdeen, fucking absolutely Nordics. packed out house, yeah. enjoyable vibes. Fantastic. Let's get on. Well done. Brilliant. Let's go, Will. And by the way, special thank you to everyone who bought the tickets. It goes a hell of a long way. For you to come out, spend the night with us, and have a laugh, it goes Fantastic. a long way. Father and son duo, let's have it. We're the best father and son oh. duo since uh, Johan and Geordie Cruyff. Fantastic. Any other, is there any other Can't famous ones? anything else. Oh, well, we were, whatever. Yeah. But we've done well tonight. Yeah. Very good. Second best since uh, John Morrissey Jr. and Senior. All right. Right. Well, you thanks for See you later. Thanks so much. Take Appreciate care. it. See you later. All goes well. Nice one. Bye bye. Here we are, Dad. Okay, so brilliant. Fantastic night. Signing off. Just got home to ours. My dad's shooting off. Fantastic, brilliant night. Amazing crowd. Will was brilliant, I was brilliant, brought the house down between us, love to go back there, thanks to all the staff, everybody that was there tonight, Brilliant Theatre's Vicky, Vicky, Kev, Paul and Malch, uh, incredible people. Brilliant Theatre, fantastic, love to go back there. Like, subscribe, do your thing and you're going to be shocked when this goes, I was on YouTube. I'm waiting to see it, I hope we're still alive when it goes. <laughs> In a bit. See you later. Bye, right, John. See you, Dad.